cameras. Yeah, it's been a while since I did a camera video. The last time I made one was when I pretty much started this channel. Anyways, today this Polaroid has batteries. I finally decided to buy some, even though they'll most likely be dead at the end of the video. Anyways, this is the Polaroid i1035. This boy is a 10 megapixel camera with 4 times digital zoom and 3 times optical zoom. It also has USB connectivity. I call this port Nano USB because it's very tiny. This boy looks pretty good for his age. Let's turn him on. I love when cameras like these turn on. You can zoom in and out with the buttons close to the top. So far, the quality looks pretty good. It even says goodbye to you. We probably should get an SD card for this boy. Luckily, we have a box full of them. Be free, my boys. This one should work nice and small. Let's put it in the camera. And there we go. Now we are ready. I'm gonna go take some pictures, so I'll be back after doing that. Those photos are pretty decent, I'll give it that. It seems to lack a bit on recording videos though. Overall, pretty well rounded. I removed the lanyard because they are annoying. These models of Polaroid look pretty good, especially if they have the silver one. In the early 2000s, this is probably a pretty high-end camera. But we're comparing it to nowadays quality, which is leagues ahead of this boy. Still pretty nice though. Next, we have a pink Samsung S730. I think a lot of cameras from this era looked pretty similar. This boy has 3 times optical zoom and 5 times digital zoom, which is slightly more than the Polaroid. I also took off the lanyard off this boy too. It has a small screen. This boy has a nano USB port and a DC port for plugging it in if you don't have batteries, which is a pretty smart idea. This boy has a dial, like some of the newer expensive DSLRs. Not much else on the top though. The color, I think, actually suits this boy pretty well. Let's turn this boy on. <sighs> I put the batteries in backwards, didn't I? Well, I got that fixed, and it turns out this boy is seven megapixels. The menus on this boy are pretty cool. Anyways, I'll be back after taking some pictures.
this boy is actually kind of disappointing. The pictures taken on this boy are just always grainy and it doesn't know how to shut off its flash. The videos on this boy are pretty good though, just a bit yellowed. It has a small screen, but that extra port is nice. And my phone in the background got a notification. So yeah, this boy is a pretty nice looking camera with a DC port. But the photos are grainy and the videos are subpar. Sorry Samsung. Next, we have our favorite non-digital camera. The LG Slidey Boy. Or officially known as the LG Enlighten. And he looks pretty nice. This boy has a pretty weak 3.2 megapixel camera. But it's AI that makes the photos great on this boy. The LG is running Android 2.3 Gingerbread, which means it doesn't even have Google Play support. But you gotta love that physical keyboard. It also has your micro USB and a headphone jack. So yeah, this boy isn't really a camera, but he still is good. I'll be back after taking some photos with this boy. So yeah, this boy takes pretty good photos compared to the others. The video quality is slightly lacking though. We now know that an outdated Android phone can beat out digital cameras. This boy is probably the thinnest camera. I swear that this boy always seems to win. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Remember that an outdated Android phone can beat out digital cameras. And remember that the LG is OP. And if you want to see more camera battles, leave a comment down below. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.